acids can be replaced by other amino acids and portions of DNA can be expanded or deleted. It's completely accepted in science that cosmic rays can and do alter DNA. Since Cygnus is the source of the most powerful cosmic rays hitting Earth, it's likely that it has been responsible for altering DNA for thousands of years. And this is caused because these tiny uh, particles of radiation will affect our genetics, will affect our DNA. Collins' speculations on Cygnus are supported by research showing a direct correlation between beryllium-10 levels recorded in ice cores from the Arctic. What we find is that during Paleolithic times, um, anywhere between, say, 40,000 years ago through to, I don't know, 13, 14,000 years ago, there was an incredible increase in cosmic rays, uh, twice the level that we are receiving today, with certain peaks around 40,000 years ago itself um, and around 17,000 to 14,000 years ago, there are two peaks of activity. What's so interesting is that those peaks correspond to periods of great acceleration in human evolution. The idea that cosmic rays may have affected us is something which might sound quite alien, quite strange, something that is almost either new age or mad in some people's minds. Although it is a fact that as early as 1973, one of the world's most ex um, respected astronomers, Carl Sagan, um, predicted that cosmic rays would have affected human evolution in the past. What's the source of the remaining accounts? Well, some of them come from radioactivity in the walls of the cave. But there's more to it than that. Some of the counts we're hearing right now are due to high energy charged particles which are penetrating the roof of the cave. We are listening to cosmic rays. Every second they are penetrating my body and yours. They don't do much damage. Cosmic rays have bombarded the Earth for the entire history of life on our planet. But they do cause some mutations and they do affect life on the Earth. The cosmic rays, mainly protons, are penetrating through the meters of rock in the cave above me. To do this, they have to be very energetic, and in fact, they are traveling almost at the speed of light. Think of it. A star blows up thousands of light years away in space and produces cosmic rays, which spiral through the Milky Way galaxy for millions of years until, quite by accident, some of them strike the Earth, penetrate this cave, reach this Geiger counter and us. The evolution of life on Earth is driven in part through mutations by the deaths of distant stars. We are, in a very deep sense, tied to the cosmos. Our ancestors knew this well. The movements of the sun, the moon and the stars could be used by those skilled in such arts to foretell the seasons. So the ancient astronomers all over the world studied the night sky with care, memorizing and recording the position of every visible star. To them, the appearance of any new star would have been significant. What would they have made of the apparition of a supernova, brighter than every other star in the sky? British anthropologist by the name of Dennis Montgomery uh, since the early 1990s has been looking into very similar ideas and he also recognised that 
that cosmic rays may have been involved. Most importantly, he saw them as originating from the Cygnus constellation.